Now, Intel had some register usage conventions that they suggested in their manuals. And frequently these had to do with like the naming actually and had to do with the usage. But in this class, we're not gonna necessarily see all of these recommendations. So I've labeled in green the ones that we're specifically going to see in the class and red as things we're not going to see in this class. So for instance, RAX in this class, we will see it storing function return values. Also, you know, what we're not going to see in the class is that Intel originally suggested that A be the accumulator and that you, the assembly would just accumulate. So if you do, you know, one plus two, the result should go back into A register, the AX register, the RAX register. But we're not actually going to see that that much. Compilers don't tend to necessarily do that that much anymore. So RBX, base pointer to the data section. I have seen this before, but our assembly is going to be so simple here that we're not really going to see that. Our CX, C for counter, it's frequently used for looping operations, uh, and so C for counter. Our DX, we're not going to see it used as an IO pointer in this class, but we will in a future architecture class. Then for RSI, source index pointer for string operations, we'll see towards the end of the class a looping string operation thing where RSI will have a special usage. RDI is destination index, so source to destination. But again, those are just sort of naming and recommendations. They can be just used as any old uh, general purpose register if the compiler wants. RSP, SP for stack pointer, points at the top of the stack, meaning the last value that was put on the stack. RBP, stack frame base pointer. It's used to point at the base of the current stack frame. We'll talk about stack next. And RIP, it points at the next instruction. The instruction pointer points at the next instruction that the processor should execute. 